Hi everybody. Today on Rachel Cooks with Love, I'm going to show you how to cure a molcajete. I've had numerous requests for a video on how to do this. There's a lot of different methods on how to cure a molcajete that I've seen and heard of. But I'm going to show you the way my mom taught me how to do it. No drama. Very easy. And today I'm going to show you how to do that step by step. Let's get started. So this is a molcajete that I'm going to be curing today. Now, a couple of weeks ago, my Ron and I went to Mexico, which just happens to be a few miles away from here. Not far at all, because I needed a molcajete this size. Now, this molcajete right here is the one that I usually use, and I've had that for years and years. My mom gave it to me, but I needed one this size. This is a nine inch by four and a half. Now, when I was shopping for the molcajete, I wanted one that was gonna sit up real nice and straight. I didn't want one that was lopsided and I wanted one this deep, and this is it, perfect. See, now this is a molcajete, and this is the tejolote. Now some people call this la piedra, which means the rock. Some people call it la mano, which means the hand, but it is a tejolote, okay? Now in this measuring cup, I've got some dry rice. This is just regular jasmine rice, but you can use any kind of rice that you want. Now the reason I'm gonna be using rice is because we know that rice is very hard. And that's what we need when curing the molcajete because our molcajete is very dry and it's got some really sharp edges and we're gonna break them off and get it real nice and smooth and rice works perfect for that. And here I've got some kosher salt because it's very abrasive and it's, the granules are a lot smaller than the rice and this is able to go into the pits and clean it out from the inside, places where the rice can't get in, okay? So now I'm ready to cure my molcajete. I'm gonna get some of this rice and I'm just gonna put it in here like this. You don't need a lot, see? Just like that. And I'm also gonna put in some of this kosher salt so they can work together. Picture it like this. Here's one of the little holes, these pits right here. And these edges are real delicate and they're ready to break off. So if it's gonna break off, you want it to break off now. You don't want it to break off when you're in the middle of making a delicious guacamole or a salsa. Whatever's gonna break, better break now, okay? That's part of curing your molcajete. So I'm just gonna go around and around like this, see? And breaking off anything that is ready to give. Now you wanna be patient when you're doing this, and once you cure it, that's it. You'll never have to do it again, and it'll be ready to go. And you wanna bring it up, high up here also. See? You want to work all the wall here. And you're going to keep on doing it until this rice is just like powder. Now as you can see, I've gotten my rice nice and ground. Look at that. But look at all those bits in here. See? And it doesn't look nice and white it has like a gray tinge to it and i've been coming up here to the wall you see all the way up here sometimes you're going to get your salsa or your guacamole all the way up here it's not always going to stay down here at the bottom you see and i've been doing the edges too like this because when you hold it you don't want it to be real sharp you want it to be smooth all the way around so i'm taking it all the way up here like this see so I'm done with the first round and I've had a good workout. So I've got this bowl here. I'm going to dump it out. I'm going to add a little bit more rice and a little bit more of the kosher salt. And we're not going to quit until the rice is nice and white. So this is the sixth batch. I did this side and I did this side. You know, you never know when you might want to use this side or this side. So I did them both. And I went up here on top and I can feel it like this and it's so smooth. And it's smooth right here on the inside rim. And of course, I know it's super smooth on the inside. So now it's ready. So I'm going to clean up my mess and then I'm going to take it to the sink. And I'm going to show you how I clean it there. So I have cleaned up my area and I'm ready to wash my molcajete. But before I do that, I wanted to show you something. Now I've got some brushes right here. 
I'm just wanting to give you an idea of what kind of brush you can use when you wash your molcajete in the sink. Now this one right here is a steel brush and I use it sometimes when I grind cumin and peppercorns and spices like that that really dig into the pits. And with this, I can go in there and I can dig them out. This one right here is just a nylon brush, kind of like a toothbrush, and it works really well too. This is a pastry brush. Sometimes if you grind like cloves or just cumin by itself, you can just go in there and you can just brush them off. And then this is the one I usually use. I just go in there in a circular motion and I'm able to clean it up really well. There are a lot of people out there that say that you should never put your molcajete into the dishwasher. But I want you to know that I do. I put it into the dishwasher and I have never had a problem. Now I don't put it in there every single time that I use it. But sometimes when I see that it's got a little bit too much and I can't take it out with a brush, I will just flip it over face down. I'll put it into the dishwasher and I'll run it and it comes out perfectly fine. I've never had a buildup of soap or anything like that. But you decide on what you want to do and what works for you. So now that I've told you about the brushes, now we can go to the sink. I'm going to rinse it out really well. Now you see how some of this rice powder has gone into the pits? That's the same thing that the spices are going to do. So you want to go in here and you want to get it out. But I'm going to put some dishwashing liquid in here. And I'm going to really go in here and clean it up really good. Now I'm going to go in a circular motion like this because you want to clean up all those little pits in here. Look at how beautiful this looks. See, that's exactly what I wanted. Now we can dry it up really well. See, so once you get it nice and dry and your tejolote is nice and dry, look at how pretty this is. Oh gosh, see? So you wanna lay it on its side and just let it sit there until it's totally dry and it's ready to go. So now you can make all your guacamoles, all the salsas that you wanna make and it's perfect. So this is how you cure a molcajete. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up, send me a comment and tell me what you think. Thank you.